got a phone going off. As you can see, we have the Ujama lighting, smart bulb, connects to the Wi-Fi, you can use pretty much anywhere. This is me installing, I'm taking out uh, the old fixture, uh, the old glass thing, it's going to be kind of dirty, you're going to see it, clean it out, make it look nice. I'm not even going to be able to use it because the Ujama light bulb is longer, so be prepared for that. I actually used a new fixture, I installed a new fixture, just so I can make it look good. I don't like just a naked bulb sitting there um, and, and looking tacky like this so we did that skip forward if you want to get straight to the instructions where I give you step-by-step -step instructions with the visuals on what to look for when you are connecting this bulb via Wi-Fi so you can have smart access to it yes it is compatible with Google Home but it does go through a third-party app to do that which is still compatible with Google Home there you go Alright guys, so real quick, we're gonna set this up. First we're gonna give it power. The lights gonna come on. You just wanna see it start flashing. And we need to actually flash faster than that, because it's not in my 5 volt, so. There we go. I do it. Nice. And light bulb. 
Wi-Fi. And they just come back home with the truck, right when I'm recording. Got John Papers. Confirm it. Now, last time I did this, it didn't work like so soon. Wait. And what happened was it ended up connecting anyway later on. So it's not the most uh, intuitive experience. It's very clunky. Uh, using the Smart Life, but Smart Life is the only one that allows third party uh, companies to create a Bluetooth product without you being branded by Google or Apple. And you're not getting branded by Apple, Apple's in house, everything is in house. And also, Yes, it's loud. There we go. Boom at the same time. Now, let's see six months past. Like I said, this is not the most intuitive. And probably what happened again is it'll probably just connect it like it's supposed to. Uh... Okay, it did it this time. Okay. So, you can't tell color change unless I just really do a color change, like right? that. Which you really can't see. We'll do it at night. You can see, my hand fans right here. Falls right here. 
And, and there we go. Seven minutes, 39 seconds. Got it. All right, family. Back in nighttime view. I want to show you guys what how bright this can get and all the variations of things you can do with this smart bulb uh at night just so you can get a clear understanding you know what i'm saying bam super bright you can adjust the intensity like how much percentage you know 100 percent power or 10 percent. you can get down to one percent you got different colors you can give her the red light special all through the night Anyway, blue, greens, purples, you know what I'm saying? You can throw up your set. I'm just kidding, don't do that. These are supposed to be like different uh, ambiances. Like, is that a word? I don't know. Anyway, look, you can do stuff. You can do things and stuff, and then this is one that I really like. So let's say you inside, you got a party. You can actually activate it to listen to music. And it will flicker and flash with the music. Of course, I have to find the song, but you know I know which one I'm going to play. Lego. My black universe, my black universe, welcome to my universe. First, let's take facts. Let's take a moment to take you back. Back when I was in school and it wasn't cool to buy anything from black. Like, we always wrong. Black folk just can't get along. I heard until I was grown.